Entschuldigung, ich bin ein Perihund und nichts spricht Deutsch. Jedes Schulkind weiß, dass die Indianer beim Ende des 19. Jahrhunderts von den Amerikanern ausgerottet wurden. Dans l'hypothèse improbable, où les Amérindiens n'ont pas disparu, ils habitent sur une réserve, dans un tipi, sans aucun espoir et sans avenir. However, in reality, over two-thirds of the Native American population lives off reservation. What if Native Americans venture further than Billings or Bozeman even? and seek their fortune out in the new, in the old world. I spent most of my life living beyond the reservation in Germany as an international crow. My thesis project is a documentary film on expat Indians, Native Americans who seize the opportunity to live happy and prosperous lives in Europe. I focus on performers who contribute to Native American cultural preservation through outreach, education, and international alliance building. Starting in fall 2012, I filmed all over the world, in France, Belgium, and Germany, even as far away as Canada. In Calgary, I interviewed the finalists auditioning for a job at the Buffalo Bill Wild West show in Disney Paris. In Paris, Mickey and friends led us through a reenactment of the historical Wild Bill Wild West show. There, we met Aaron Buffalo, a finalist from Calgary, and Chief Sidenbull, performed by Caroline's cousin, Kevin Dust. In the Western theme park, El Dorado, near Berlin, the resident Indian, Quentin Pipestem, fights against corrupt US cavalry in a stunt show. His performance of traditional songs and dances at the tipi encampment is joined by a plush Indian mascot named Acorn. In contrast to these theme parks, we also filmed in Brulon, France, and Bastogne, Belgium, the epicenter of World War II's Battle of the Bulge. There, Native Americans have had control over their own platform to educate and perform with their own sovereignty. And in contemporary clothes, The interviewees of, our film, of my film represent different stages of experience. Aaron Buffalo is young and still adapting to a new lifestyle in a foreign culture with high income, health insurance, annual paid leave, and lots of groupies. He's a rock star and he makes nearly $8,000 a month. Here we have Ed Bryant from the Pacific Northwest. He educates Europeans about Tsimshian art and culture. In addition, he is also returning the lost skill of bow making from European knowledge keepers to his home community. And next we have Olinado. He originally visited Europe as part of a Mexican delegation during the bicentennial of Columbus Day. They tried unsuccessfully to reclaim Montezuma's crown from Austria. Now, Olinado continues working toward this goal, but through education and uh, cultural outreach. On the left, Kevin Dust from Disney, you remember. Um, but he also appears in movies such as the recent Lucy. On the right, you see my cousin Kendall Old Elk, and uh, both of them at the Tipi village and at museums bust stereotypes. By explaining that Indians are not birds, and we do not sleep in our feathers. There are hundreds of Native Americans in Europe. Some are performers, and even more are living quiet lives as professionals like you and me, anywhere from Spain to Russia. But are they still Indian? As a half-breed, I'm used to being introduced as the German. It never occurred to me that anybody who lives off the reservation does not fit the stereotype and could be excluded like that. Until at a Crow event years ago, someone confronted my father with the exclamation, you are not a real Crow anymore. Can you imagine both our surprise? To me, my dad was a Crow beyond doubt. In the ensuing argument, his childhood friend went through the list of characteristics. It wasn't enough for my dad to fit the list. 
That's him, the baby in the middle, by the way. My dad has been living in Iowa for over 20 years now, returning to Montana only to visit. And that is why you are not a real crow anymore, explained his friend. Turns out, real Indians never leave the reservation. It's him again in the middle. So what is a Native American? And tribal nations can individually define citizenship, but federal recognition requires that you have one-fourth Native American pedigree, much like a poodle. For example, in Montana, the Crow require one-fourth blood pedigree, while my tribe, the Cheyenne, we use simple ancestral heritage as a basis. But tribal identity should be more than governmental breeding policy. Take Kendall's daughter, Jasmine, for example. She was born in Spain. She speaks Catalan, English, Crow, and now also French. She dances, she sings Crow songs, she knows her Crow family in Montana, but grew up in Europe. Who's to say that she's not a real Crow? Native Americans like her and my wife are the future. And this film is an exploration of the pioneers of our Native American destiny, Europe. In Europe, we thrive, whereas we experience racism and genocide in our own country. But how will this transition change us? Indians will adapt. We have always been a cosmopolitan people with long histories of migration and change. With my film, I want to share a vision of a new Native American identity, unbound by race and tribal reservations. I want to empower this new identity beyond reservations. Currently, I'm in post-production, and I would be very happy if you check out my website and maybe leave some comments. Thank you.